Well, I get you know, I'd like to thank the Biz Times for being the only local owned business publication in Milwaukee now. Thank you for that. Um, I also like to thank Potawatomi for taking my fifty dollars I bet on red when I got in here today. So I the, you know when you win awards, you actually want to uh, talk about what you accomplished in the past, and I think you have to have some self-reflection. I'll also talk a little about the future. Dan gave me about five minutes, so I'll probably take about ten. But I'll, I want to talk about how we started, because I don't think people really know that story. Um, in 2009, during the height of the recession, Milwaukee started, as um, we said, about oh, as a YP group. And, you know, the perfect time to start a company is in, during a recession, Right. So we started a company, we started a young professional group, we started meeting every other Thursday, happy hours. You know, more and more people started showing up, people started to kind of get connected to different places around the community. And the term New Walkie really stands for new ideas, new people of the city, new ways of doing things. And what was really interesting is it got so big, we started to say we want to do something different. We started to look at thousands and thousands of YP groups across the country and realize they all do the same thing, which was pretty much a lot of nothing. It was socials, it was philanthropic endeavors, but it wasn't making the impact, because if we were the same as everybody else, how do we separate our city? How do we be different? So we started looking at different ways to do things, and um, we started looking at how the way movements start. And most movements start by an event, or a people, or a person doing an event, or a speech, and when that, movement, when that speech or that event turns into an experience for everybody else in the room, it changes your belief. And when you change your belief, inspires you to do action. And when you inspire action, you start getting results. And when you get results, you have a culture, culture shift. So we started doing that. We didn't want to participate in culture. We wanted to create it. So we started creating a lot of programs. We actually create 184 events a year in Milwaukee, and we're in Wisconsin now. But one of the interesting things was we got approached really early on, before we were an actual company, we didn't know what we really were going to be, by Lakeshore State Park, which is that little island off by Summerfest. And we threw something called the Urban Island Beach Party. It's actually a peninsula, but no one would show up to a peninsula party. So we were like, I'm going to call this something a little more sexier. So um, we expected about 200 people to show up to this event. And 3,000 showed up. And we had one bathroom and one food truck. Can you imagine what that would look like? And we had no lights, and it was dark out, and we didn't really know what we were doing. But we had something. So what do you do during the recession when you have no business plan, you have no revenue model, and you have no customers? You quit your job. So that's what we did. We quit our job, and then I went behind Angela, my business partner's back, and signed a five-year lease. At the world economy, and, and the best building about shopping in Milwaukee, the Grand Avenue Mall. <laughs> so we signed a lease at the Grand Avenue Mall. And we started building initiatives and programs about the employee experience, around employer branding, around recruitment, around onboarding, around integration, around engagement, and really around exiting. So when you leave a company, how do we create a connection back to the company? Um, and we talk about why we want to create places to live, work, and play. I'm probably the first one to say that, mo that model is dead, because I've never been to a place that says we're a bad place to live, work, and play. No one, I've, you know, I've been to a lot of cities, did a lot of presentations, and no one's ever said to me, you know, this place really sucks to live, work, and play. So we have to do something different. So we started looking at things around empowerment, connection, and build. How do we empower people to do things? How do we connect them to opportunities and resources? And how do we let them build things? So it went, before, be, uh, went beyond just events and initiatives like the night market. It went bigger than that. It went to services. We started looking around at how, who, what industry attracts talent the best. And we, you know, most people say tech or most people say certain industries. But I started looking at college sports. And when you think, a way that, when you think the way college sports recruit people, they actually go to where talent is. They sell them on what they have back at, at their university. They recruit them and they bring them in for an experience. They connect them to a whole bunch of people in the community. And then when they actually leave, they don't say goodbye. They charge them money in alumni programs, right? So they get connected to them. So we thought, how can we build services and models for clients? You can work with most of the major companies here in Milwaukee around building experiences for people to connect to their purpose, their passion, their place, but also building actual tangible things that they give them return on investment, not just an event for an event's sake. So, um, you know, we, we kind of thought about why do people live here, and I always like to say that, you know, I actually like cheese a lot, 
You can't actually go to any single place across the country and not see Wisconsin cheese on a menu. I think that's cool. I think beer is cool. I think supper clubs are cool. I think everybody else's trends in their communities are our traditions. And we created that stuff. And we have to go back to owning who we are, to move people here again. And we're doing it right now. We have kids from across the Midwest, actually tonight, um, we have kids from across the Midwest in technology that came to win a trip of a lifetime to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, um, with the whole intention of moving them here. To, yeah, trip of lifetime, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, right? Um, so they all expenses paid. They're here. Every time we do this program, we convert 100% of the people to move here. Their perception of the city is different when they come really different when they, before they get here. When they leave, it's about, wow, this place is great and ways to, to be. And so on that note, you know, never be satisfied with the workplace. Operate your, your culture like a startup all the time. And you know, I'm proud to be here, and I'm proud for all the support I get in the community and all the things that we try to give back. And um, thank you, Biz, Biz Times, for this award. I appreciate it. Cheers.